a, a still a, a rough start. And then um, what would you do to kind of uh, get things back under control there in the second half? Who am I talking to? Um, yeah, but it's the biggest thing going into the second half was just trying to, you know, put some drives together. And uh, that's what we did. Uh, Scott did a great job calling plays, and I was just trying to execute as best as I could. Did you have a feel for it was working well as you guys were moving down the field there in the second half? Say it again. Uh, j just what was working well for the offense? Um, you know, just trying to be decisive, um, you know, trying to get some man zone to certain formational stuff and um, things that, you know, uh, didn't go our way. And, um, you know, some plays I want back for sure. I'm still trying to sort through, but, you know, um, there's some things that we can work on and improve on going to next week. And, you know, it's a tough team, playoff team, you know, a great quarterback and a great defense. So um, it was definitely a hard fought game. Hey, Dwayne, John Kime, after your second pick, you seemed to get into a better rhythm. What happened for you then? I got mad. Did you have to tell, did you tell yourself something to? to I said I got take? mad. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Hey, Dwayne, uh, this is uh, Darren Haynes, WSA. Uh, when you speak about getting mad, uh, what type of approach do you take to the game to allow you to play better? I guess, like, if you can explain what does mad mean for you when you actually go out there and play? What type of I, just, I, just, I just know what I'm capable of. And, um, you know, stuff happens in a game. And um, really, it's just not letting the mistakes carry on to the next series and next play. So. Um, after that play, I put it on myself to do as much as I could to help this team come back. And, um, you know, we fell short. And, um, man, I thought we had them at the end. But, um, you know, things to learn from, things to work on and improve from, things on film that I'll get better from. And, uh, you know, looking forward to next week. Hey, Dwayne, John Kime, what happened on that second interception? Did, what did you see? It was a max protection. Um, you know, we had a two-man deep concept. I saw the corner. Um, I thought he was going to run with Terry from what I saw. He was playing in between the both players. And, um, you know, he fell off on, on a, you know, a deep crossing route coming across the field. I got to see him and check the ball down to the running back. Um, got a little little gun trickery right there trying to make a big play. Um, should have checked the ball down. Hey, Dwayne, uh, Ben Standing, uh, you guys were able to get the ball down the field a bit more as the game progressed. What allowed you uh, to do that? So getting the ball down the field? Yeah, you guys had more success getting the, throwing the ball down the field and making plays down the field as the game progressed. What allowed you to do that? Uh, just, you know, figuring out what they're doing and, and you know, getting into the right stuff um, to, to make sure we exploit uh, what we saw. You know, Dwayne, you have two games left in the season here. What was the tone? What was the message in the locker room after the game? You know, we're, we're not done. Uh, we have a big game next week versus Carolina. Uh, they're coming to our place and a lot of history there with Coach Rivera and uh, his time over there. Um, so looking forward to, to the last game of the season, um, home game of the season, going out with the statement and, you know, playing a hard game against a good team. Hey, Dwayne, Rainer Walker. Hey, Dwayne, Rhiannon Walker. I saw you talking to the defense after that touchdown you had to J.D. McKissick. One, just what were you saying to the defense? And also, what was your reaction when you saw them get the three and out? I just wanted the ball back. Um, you know, I'm excited. I thought they did a great job finishing the game. Um, you know, so we got to do a better job as offense finishing the game. I got to do a better job of, um, you know, trying to make something happen at the end. Hey, hey Dwayne, it's Les Carpenter at the Washington Post. Uh, it seems like this team all year has had certain fight in it, you know, coming back in these games and you today too. I mean, where is that coming from? Where was that kind of coming from with you two today? You know, I'm a competitor and I hate losing, um, you know, I hate being down on myself and, um, you know, it's, we still have minutes left, possessions left in the game. So we're going to treat them like they're our last drive of our life and we're going to make the most of it. And uh, regardless of the situation, regardless of who we're playing, um, regardless of the point of where it is in the season or anything, whoever we play, we're going to compete to the last and final play. And, um, you know, that's just a mindset we have to have when trying to make this run. And, um, you know, I have two games left in this season where we got to, you know, finish strong. So we have to have fight in us. We have to start early. We have to finish strong at the end. And um, that's what we're continuing to work on. And that's what I'm continuing to work on and learning. And I'm getting better at him, you know, having Alex and, and watching him when he's 
games previously and how he processed, how he worked during the week and things of that nature has only been something that I can continue to work on with my toolbox and apply it to myself and my game. Thank you, Mark. Hey, Dwayne. Uh, Sam Fortier with the Washington Post. How have you seen Logan Thomas specifically grow throughout the season, and how has he been able to step into bigger and bigger roles each game? Logan's a beast, man, former quarterback who understands um, the soft pockets of, of defenses, having seen it from a quarterback's perspective and then you know, being savvy enough as a route runner to find the soft pockets, and he's a great athlete to get away from man coverage, and he's putting it all together. He's a great blocker as well, and uh, you know, he's played a lot of football, and you know, he's one of our leaders on our offense and on our team, and for him to get the opportunities that he's getting and for him to you know, capitalize on them, I'm just happy for him. Uh, he said I threw him the ball 12 times, and I had no idea, but he was getting first downs for me, and you know, can't complain about that. If you had a chance to talk to uh, Morgan Moses, yeah, how, how's he doing? And uh, obviously, he was trying to tough it out there at the end, come back in. Big Mo, that's my guy, man. Um, love that man. Uh, saw him after the game. He said he was fine. Um, you know, praying that he's good and continues to, uh, you know, get back to full health.